Getting into the scene was kind of difficult at first. Uh, there was definitely the feeling that the established TOs didn't want to let anybody into their like circle, or maybe they didn't think I was good enough or whatever at the time. But it's cool. They were still happy with us, like or with me, like volunteering and helping out running pools. Like I was down to do not fun stuff. I'm Gerardo Caballero. You may know me as Jerry or by my smash tag Hefe. I'm a TO slash production guy from Southern California. I operate with Top Shelf Esports and we run Friday Night Turnup. Tokal is debatably the best region in the world. Probably like Sweden or Central Florida. Central Florida is pretty stacked, but uh, a lot of the good players just kind of gravitate towards this area. Uh, I just assume it's so they can practice against each other in LA, like SoCal kicks ass. There's two bar tournaments that have started since then. One in Santa Monica, like West LA area, and one in San Diego. And the first thing they did, which I thought was really cool, was come to me. And they're like, yo, we want to get a bar tournament going. Like, I found a venue, like, how, like, what do I say? What do I ask them? How do I actually, like, make this a thing? And it's really cool. Like, like one, like, I feel hell honored that people, like, come to me for help because I don't feel like I know, have every answer and, like, know what I'm doing most of the time. I'm just kind of, like, I know what I want to do. And, like, I should just keep, I don't know, come up with an idea and just keep tackling it. And if it fucking works, it doesn't. The new venue definitely had its new challenges. It was an entirely different vibe and scene. Like, there was a jukebox playing fucking, like, Hips Don't Lie randomly, just come out out of nowhere, just songs come on. Um, there's, like, sort of lights, like, the people are drinking, you know what I mean? Like, I remember pros were just going to turn up to get, and they were getting fucked up, and then, like, MIOM was counting those tournaments, you know what I mean? Because you had, there was times when we have, like, Wes, Hugo, Mike, and, like, Drug Fox, none. You know what I mean? Like, how is that tournament not going to count for something bigger? But then, like, Hugo and none would be like, I'm fucking drunk, this can't count kind of deal. So, like, that was when I started learning the dynamic of the new environment. Yeah, I've been playing for three months. Uh, my first time at Turnip, I, 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 I beat my first, my first one, and then I have to play Hugs, the, the, the top Samus player. Yeah. And uh, I lose. I, I didn't get hit with the charge shot, but uh, I had a good time. Uh, and it was my first time really playing against other people. It was like three months of practicing against CPUs and, and, and uh, tech skill on my own, and then I, I finally got to play against other people. Melee players are a little entitled, but that's not the right word to use here. That's just, like, I don't think the lo their love for the game would have gotten as strong if Nintendo was there from the beginning, holding our hand, you know? It's always have to been everyone doing stuff for themselves, figuring things out for themselves, like the players, the TOs, the production, like, it all had to happen on its own. I feel like having back-to-back -back majors and having the pros out of region all the time, it's like, it's, it's a... It's a pro and con list, definitely. For people like me, like I would love to have them all the pros in town all the time, so they can come to my events. Which sounds like pretty selfish and greedy, but I also just want to like, like I love it when people come to my event and they're like, I get to play Hugo next. Like, oh shit! Like, let's go! Like, this was worth coming. You know, like seeing that excitement in people is great. <laughs>